Once upon a time in a small village nestled amidst towering mountains, there lived a wise old Zen master. Renowned for his profound wisdom and serene demeanor, people from far and wide sought his guidance and teachings. The master's humble abode overlooked a lush valley, where a river flowed gently, bestowing tranquility upon the land. One fine morning, as the sun bathed the village in a golden glow, a curious child, named Akira, approached the Zen master's dwelling. Akira had heard tales of the wise man's enlightenment and was eager to learn from him. With wide eyes filled with anticipation, the child knocked on the door, which creaked open, revealing the serene countenance of the Zen master. Greeting Akira with a warm smile, the wise man invited the child inside. Akira felt an instant connection, as if he had known the master for ages. Seated on tatami mats, the Zen master patiently listened as Akira poured out his queries about life, the universe, and the meaning of it all. The wise man's eyes twinkled with understanding, and he shared his timeless wisdom with the child. Life, dear Akira, is like the river that flows through this valley, the Zen master began. Each of us is a droplet of water in this grand river, interconnected and in constant motion. But remember, just as the river encounters obstacles in its path, so too shall you face challenges and hurdles in life. Embrace them with an open heart, for they are the very opportunities that shape you. The child pondered over the master's words, eager for more guidance. With each passing day, Akira would return to the Zen master's abode, absorbing the pearls of wisdom that fell from the old man's lips. The master shared stories of enlightenment, compassion, and the true nature of existence, all woven into the fabric of everyday life. One evening, as the sky transformed into a magnificent tapestry of colors, Akira arrived at the Zen master's dwelling, accompanied by a heavy heart. The child recounted a tale of sorrow and disappointment, where dreams had shattered like fragile glass. Tears welled up in Akira's eyes as the pain echoed through the room. The Zen master, unperturbed by the melancholy in the air, gently placed a hand on Akira's trembling shoulder. Life storms are fierce, young one, he whispered. But remember, just as the rain nurtures the earth and allows flowers to bloom, so too shall your hardships fertilize your spirit and awaken resilience within you. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, as Akira continued to seek the wise man's guidance. The child's understanding of life grew, and with it, his compassion and wisdom blossomed. The village began to notice the profound transformation in Akira's demeanor, and people flocked to him, seeking solace and inspiration. One winter day, the village was struck by tragedy. A devastating fire engulfed several homes, leaving families homeless and hearts shattered. Akira rushed to the scene, overwhelmed by the scale of destruction. Amidst the chaos, the child remembered the Zen master's teachings and his unwavering calmness in the face of adversity. Akira rallied the villagers, coordinating efforts to rebuild their homes and provide solace to those affected. With words of compassion and acts of kindness, the child offered a glimmer of hope to the desolate hearts. News of Akira's selflessness reached the Zen master, who watched from a distance, his heart brimming with pride. Days turned into weeks, and the village thrived once again, stronger and more united than ever before. The villagers hailed Akira as a beacon of light, a testament to the teachings of the Zen master. Rumors of the child's wisdom and benevolence spread far and wide, reaching the ears of a revered spiritual leader from a distant land. Intrigued by the tales of Akira's enlightenment, the spiritual leader embarked on a journey to the village, seeking the child's guidance. Upon meeting Akira, the spiritual leader bowed in reverence, acknowledging the profound wisdom that emanated from the child's being. I have traveled far and wide, seeking enlightenment, the spiritual leader confessed. Yet, in this humble child, I find the true embodiment of wisdom. Please, share with me the secret to your enlightenment. Akira, now a young adult, smiled warmly, humbled by the spiritual leader's words. With utmost humility, the child spoke, 
My enlightenment lies not in my knowledge or achievements, but in my willingness to learn from the world around me. The river of life taught me to flow, the storms taught me resilience, and the flames taught me compassion. The wisdom of the Zen master nourished my spirit and guided my actions. The spiritual leader nodded in deep understanding, grateful for the profound insight that Akira had shared. In that moment, both the child and the spiritual leader recognized the interconnectedness of all beings, transcending age, experience, and titles. As time passed, Akira continued to inspire generations with the teachings received from the Zen master. The village prospered, not only in material wealth but also in the richness of its people's hearts. And in the valley where the river flowed gently, the spirit of the wise old Zen master lingered, whispering timeless wisdom to those who sought enlightenment. May this tale of the Zen wise man and the child remind us that wisdom knows no age, and enlightenment can be found in the most unexpected of souls. Let us embrace the lesson's life presence, allowing them to shape us into compassionate beings, ever flowing with the river of existence. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for latest updates.